It's beyond high noon for you. Four shooters are better than two, kid. I'm ready for a duel. You can't run. I have wings. Target acquired. This is gonna be fun. Well, hey everyone. It's Damani here, and welcome to another video on the Team Godspeed YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed that trailer as much as I did. Make sure to look at the Brawlhalla YouTube channel and support those animators. But anyways, in case you're a new to Brawlhalla or B living under a rock because everyone's been talking about this, we'll be making a short review for you to talk about everything Reno, the latest legend to enter Brawlhalla. So now we're about to move on to his weapons and stats. So his weapon combination is orb and blasters and I know many of us, or many people in the Brawlhalla community, including myself, have been waiting on this weapon combination. Like we don't have to wait any longer because you know that sci-fi Glock Roach is here with that weapon combination. So his stats are 4 force, 7 dexterity, 6 defense, 5 speed. Like they really aren't the best, but they're okay. I think they're okay. I don't really like personally i don't like like you know low force legends and like high decks most people in the community don't really like high decks but i still think these stats are good nonetheless so the next thing i'm about to showcase will be signature attacks so now we're on to signature attacks reno's blasters mutual signature is probably his strongest signature he has great range and is a good anti-air attack with four massive explosions of his bug bullets the last one is the one that might get you this is a moderately long attack and neutralite is good to set up for it as well, especially if your opponent dodges burn. And now side signature, his blaster side signatures can send him directly to the left or right while shooting whatever is in front of him. This can be used to get back on stage and it can get easily punished if you miss. Reno's down signature, so Reno jumps back and hovers while he cocks his gun and shoots below diagonally. It has a lot of active frames so when charged it may catch your opponent off guard but it isn't too safe to use and it also has an on hit animation orb neutral signature reno swings two lassos at the enemy and if they catch the orb fires a laser this signature is very optimal to catch someone in the air for a dodge read. It has a dodge window of 4 out of Silai, so it's a moderately safe signature to throw out. Reno's side signature on orb. He swings the orb on a lasso at the enemy quickly. The hitbox is quite large and it can catch a good amount of dodges. It does a good amount of damage as well and it's re relatively safe to throw out. Reno's down signature on orb. He fires a laser beam from the orb down at the enemy. This is good for edge guarding as it puts your hitbox quite far from the signature's hitbox. Okay, so now we'll move on to the skins. So Reno, like with every legend, he launches with three amazing skins that you saw in the trailer earlier. And honestly, I would want every one of these skins, but let's just go into the skins. So the first one is Desperado Reno, which looks similar to a centipede. And then you have a Widowmaker Reno which looks like, you know, a Black Widow spider. And lastly, there's Fairy Moth Reno. Yeah, and that one looks like a moth. And I really like the guns on this one, like the lamps. Yeah, Forbidden Lamps. So BMG really went out with these great skins. Like this. Okay, so now we're on to the lore. If you want to look at his lore, just stop here and pause the video real quick. But I'll sum up everything anyways. Alright, so to sum up everything, Reno is apparently from the Chitinoid species, that's what the lore says. Um, there isn't much about his past, but this laconic gunslinger has hunted many foes, which is expected from this space cow bug cowboy, you know? <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much the lore. Okay, so that's pretty much the end of the video. To be honest, I think Reno is a good legend overall. His signature kit is great, I definitely can't call it bad. And if I could buy all of those initial skins, those three skins, I really would want to. But Widowmaker Reno is probably my favorite. I know some of our team members might also pick up Reno because 
he's just a good legend and i really can't blame them so props to blue mammoth games for making another unique and fun legend when i was trying out reno like it was just too much fun all these legends are really good so thank you for watching the video and stay tuned for the next one